Okay, everyone. Halfway through the course, there's one question people are asking themselves. Why the hell am I taking statistics? Independent, dependent variable, we get all that. Regression analysis, RR Studio, who the hell cares? I get it. I completely get it. Why is this important? I am going to take on, and very briefly, the daunting task of explaining to you why you should have a rudimentary understanding of statistics. Let's say some of you out there want to study law, right? And Sally says, I'm being discriminated against because I'm a woman. This organization is paying me less than men. That could get into just he said, she said, the organization said, she said, etc. However, if you could produce a large end study that shows that gender as an independent variable, male and female, is an influential variable in salary, meaning with the regular LM function, that men are making more women, more women, more money than men. Uh, women are making less money than men. I had to say that a few times. And it's statistically significant. You've got yourself a case. Large end data is important. Even if you could care less about what we're doing with the LM regression analysis, et cetera, you could actually strengthen your legal cases, right? Let's say you don't even want to do the statistical analysis. Well, we've been using Plotly, and that's the extended version of ggplot, which is interactive. You could literally do an amazing graph, right? Showing that men's salary are significantly higher than women's salary would say the same educational level. That would be very important for your case. Let's say you're studying human rights. Right. And you want to see, say, for example, gender rights. And is there a region of this is Colombia behind me in the middle of a big protest, for example? You see the anti Motinis, or they call them Robocops. They are ready to kill the students. And you see, you know, you're in, you're studying Colombian, uh, you know, gender rights. And you want to do it by region. And is there a region, right, that is significantly worse for women? gender rights, right? There's more, say, sexual attacks or something like that than other regions, right? And you run regression analysis on that. You know, there's just so many things. Are there countries? Are there regions, et cetera? You know, let's just say you don't like the prison system and, and you want to study the recidivism rate. That is the rate of people going back. Are there states that have people going back to prison more so than other states. You know, if you're policy oriented, there's just so many policies you could do with large end data. Do sanctions work, right? Even there's that question, sanctions being attacked on other countries, say economically, et cetera. Let's just say you just want to glean a large end study of the people who were killed in the Ukraine crisis. Let's say you're going to, you're against Russia's invasion of the Ukraine, that's going on now, and you're going to you know, hold people responsible. Are you just going to say, hey, Russia's doing a bad thing? No, you can actually compile data sets and use regression analysis and other types of analyses if you go on with statistics to su strongly suggest, remember, you never really prove that you know, Russia is involved in war crime. You could do the same in the United States, other countries as well, right? And you could actually see, you could actually create a data set of the deaths in these things. And then we're doing awesome graph. One of the things about RR Studio, you can do awesome graphs. Even if you don't care about statistics, you could do awesome graphs. As one master's student, when I was uh, teaching in the justice studies department uh, in the West Campus, you know, she said, I want to learn how to do these graphs. Because I think when I uh, defend my thesis, my master's thesis, it's going to give me credibility. Right. And a lot of people don't know how to use RR Studio. And the fact that you can do it is absolutely amazing. And the people, if you've gotten through this far, you know what I mean? You should be proud of yourself because very few people know how to code. And that's another thing. You know, let's just say, oh man, I hate this stuff, right? I hate this professor. You know, oh, I hope he gets lupus, right? Think about what you're learning. You're learning coding. 
You're going to put that on your CV. We're going to learn how. Uh, later, I'm going to give examples, uh, not in this lecture, but later, like you have a resume, right? You say, you know, you can literally sell yourself. Let's say you want to do the Arizona legislature. Uh, that's a great internship we have at ASU. Uh, and, you, and one of the things they always say is, oh, you have to, you know, research. But how do you research? The fact that you're able to use uh, or I have just simply been exposed to high level statistics puts you above so many other people. And the fact that you're using it in R&R Studio, no offense to the people who use SPSS and Stater, but this is where the world is going, right? You have Python, PyCharm, you know, uh, that's, bit, you know, huge, all these kinds of, you know, JavaScript, et cetera, you know, beyond my scope, because that's more computer science. But this is where the world is going, this open source writing codes, not like SPSS and Stater, where you just bing, bing, Bing. I mean, no offense, but like, this is where the world's going. So the fact that you're getting these tools early is very, very good. So I, I kind of get that. Like a lot of people, when they take statistics, they're like, why do I have to know this? It also makes you a more uh, educated human being, right? Like when Cheerios, the commercials say, oh, if you eat Cheerios, you lower your cholesterol. Can I see data? On that? I mean, literally you could do a study on that, like an experimental study we're going to use with the AOV and NOVA function. You know, I want to see the control group, uh, you know, and then the two groups that one ate Cheerios, one didn't. And then there's a decrease of, um, what did it say, diabetes or cholesterol or something. You know, I want to see that study. It's like, you know, no one could probably, probably never even been done. They just say it. The thing is, is that, you know, even with the COVID, right, you know, we could literally do experiments in R where if people say, for example, got the, didn't get the vaccine, got the vaccine and then got the booster, you know, who is in a better position and you literally can trace them over time and to see if it decreased your likelihood of getting COVID or decreased the symptoms of COVID if you got COVID. So this is very, very important for policy, gender rights, law, so many different things, right? Um, you know, if you're in a malpractice case, let's say you're a medical lawyer and, you know, you show a large in study that, you know, this isn't common that a circumcision goes so awry. <laughs> You know what I mean? Uh, terrible. But, uh, you know, and you show a large in study, see, this isn't supposed to happen. So this is malpractice. It's not, a, you know, a, a even close to a normal activity, right? You know, the, the, the probability of this happening is 0 0.001 and you do some probability test or something like that. But the point is, is that statistics are important. Large in data is important. We're surrounded by large in data. I mean, look at the protests behind me. You know, you literally could do a study using large in data of all the people who were killed in protests about Latin America, Asia, et cetera, you know, are some countries worse than others? You code for the deaths and then you do it. So it's, it's just applicable to a broad range. Uh, Amazon, let's just say you hate studying, you want to get a good job. Amazon loves people who, uh, you know, no understand statistics. And this goes for a wide range of companies and you don't have to be a quote unquote data scientist just the fact that you've been exposed to it puts you probably uh, beyond the running. I mean, I talk to people in finance and they're like, you know, because I do like large and large models, uh, you know, I run um, – sophisticated stuff with stocks and bonds. I get them out of Yahoo, Fred, all this other stuff. You got to make them stationary. That's like uh, <laughs> beyond the scope of this lecture. But the point is the fact that you kind of know how to do it is is very important for finance, right? It's very important for a broad range, spectrum of, of areas, uh, policy, law, you know, gender studies, everything. And even if you don't like the statistics part, you can still say you were exposed to the statistics and put it on your resume that you do understand coding to a certain degree. And the fact that you've done this program and, and are able to do like, you know, the INEC uh, uh, package with, you know, inequity, that is the uh, uh, Gini coefficient, the fact that you're able to run regression, the fact that you're going to be able to run an over that you can run, you know, the LM, GLM, when we get to Titanic, uh, you know, is so amazing. I mean, just the fact that you're able to find out in the Titanic data set, right? You know, are you more likely to die, whether you are a man or a woman or what class you are in? It's pretty amazing to do that because that the Titanic data set is a real data set. You know, that's pretty amazing to to, to be able to do that. Uh, and no spoiler alert, but guess what? You know, surprise, there is a statistical significance between people in the classes, first, second, and third, and who would die and who, not, who would not. <laughs> Typical elitism, the Marxist one. Sorry about that. And men were actually 
uh, significant in that when we do it. And you'll see uh, if you have not done it yet uh, to die. See, chivalry will never die. Of course, I would have just jumped on that boat and pushed everyone off because I'm an egalitarian and I think everyone is equal. So children and women are equal. So, you know, I would have gone for myself. You know, you got to be self-interested like that. You got to put everyone up. We're all the same. So, you know, I would have pushed Johnny right off that boat. No, I'm kidding you. But anyways, the small boat that is that we went to rescue. This is very important. And I think that this is something that people don't get. And it's very difficult to communicate, you know, and even arrests, right? One of the interesting things I'm going to do a data set that's on arrest, right? Are you more likely to be released, right? With the yes or no, right? That's the GLM function uh, by race, black or white, say. I mean, that's pretty interesting stuff. So if you're interested in, say, you know, racial equality, inequality, et cetera, that's an important data set. You know, do, other states, you know, do states with, you know, gun control decrease or increase the amount of, of killings with guns? You know, you can literally run, find data and run it. In. You know, who is more likely to vote for, say, uh, we're in Arizona. What is the name? Kelly Lake or something. Uh, and or uh, what's the other one I call? Uh, I call crazy Kerry Lake and uh I call the, the other one the cowardly lion because she's like not really running a campaign. She doesn't debate. She's not out there. I don't know what's going on with her. But anyways, those two people, right, uh, are running for governor. You know, who's more likely to vote for Kerry Lake and who's more likely to vote for Hobbes? Right? Is it by religion you could do, by um, gender, et cetera. You can literally, we're going to run it in the Kai Square. It's kind of cool. Um, so, you know, this is this is very, very important to kind of understand. Statistics has value. Large and data has value. And also the, the uh, awesome GG plots. And if you're able to do it, you should be proud of yourself. You know, a, mo a lot of people who are doing dissertations or doing PhDs don't know how to use RR Studio. And this is also a, a good learning tool for other uh, coding enterprises like Python, I said, the Jupyter Notebook, PyCharm, Spider, etc. So, you know, even if you're, you're not like, oh, I love this class or anything like this, I love that teacher, that's fine, right? But but try to understand there is an importance of statistics in, in, in work life, daily life, and just being a more analytical person. So I'll leave it there. And I hope you enjoyed this quick thing, why statistics are important. Why the hell am I taking this class? <laughs> you know, that this is very important, not just for research, but for just a broad spectrum of uh, life. So take care, everyone. And I hope you enjoyed it.